Alright, so we're back for more Virtual on Mars. Well, Jupiter Crystals. Yeah, Crystals. Crystals. Oh, God. Crystals. We managed to save the Jupiter Crystals, but Daimon is on the rampage now. The war is intensified. What can we do now? Well, let's find out. With the start of this F. Start. Oh, well, that's. I mean, we can pretty much call this another anime season or anime arc. Jupiter Crystal's movement activated Daimon's hidden fortress in Meta Cyberspace. This weapon is capable of destroying all matter in the universe. <gasps> Mars needs all seven of the Daimon fragments to trace the targets on the fortress. And we already have there two. There is a deposit of fragments in Daimon's mobile fortress. It will be difficult to collect them. Now a new battle begins. We have two. We have two of the seven Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> so basically, so to explain how this works, we're going to go to like different planets. We're going to go to like different planets between Moon, the Moon, Jupiter, Mars. Mars and Earth. Well, okay, the moon's not a planet, but you know what I'm you know what I mean. And we have to go to we have to go to the areas with the biggest diamond fragment reaction. That collapse level in the top right in the top right corner. If that reaches 100, percent it's game over. We lose. We end up losing. So, that can happen. We have to collect all seven diamond fragments. If we lose at any time during these missions, the percentage, sky, the percentage skyrockets, and we also lose a diamond fragment that we have in our possession. That's pretty much it. Thankfully, we already got two of them. And thankfully, we got the one from the Rose Sisters, so we don't have to fight the Rose Sisters again. Well, we shouldn't have to fight them again. Because they're, they're some of the toughest one, they're some of the toughest out there. Most of, the, most of these missions will pretty much end with fighting the Moltons. So, nothing big. But I do believe that we fight against the SHBVD, well, Gil and Ledin again. And I guess I kind of lied with hearing the narrator, that narrator, one last time. That was the last time we'll hear the narrator. But now we got a new person. I'm, a, I'm your new command operator. The fight against Diamond is escalating. Our goal is to prevent the construction of the antimatter fortress. Your team is scheduled for deployment. To prevent Diamond from hacking your VR, communication security is raised to level triple X. No more hacks. And, in addition to the usual reports, I'll be giving you regular updates on Diamond. So she won't keep us in the dark. But you can trust me to do my best to support you. You're all like you are already far better than our old commander, you know, slash narrator. So this is pretty much what we do. First mission, <laughs> and it's always going to go first mission, second mission, third mission, fourth mission, last mission. It's always going to do that. I don't know what happens if you fail, but I can only assume that it's game over. And 
and you can uh, and if you can, if you can catch it, you can retry before you can actually retry before any actual well, before any actual loss occurs. So it shouldn't. Well, it's not that big of a problem. You ran into my bone. Mission accomplished. Good job. I should probably keep a save just to show what happens if you reach a hundred percent. I just purposely nice lose. So this one is going to be one, two, three, four, five missions. Keep up the good work. He, he even encourages us. New data on our strategy immediately. Be careful. Second mission. Oh yeah, you can't switch VRs in between these bits. So you're stuck with whatever you have. I believe this is a different environment. Yeah, been a while since I've been at this arena. Good job. Well done. Construction of the fortress has slowed to a minimum. I believe what happens in yeah, she starts sharing information. Well, starts to divulging some lore. I mean, that's what they call themselves. As I was saying, I'm going to send you the latest data on our strategy. Yeah, she starts giving us tidbits about their... She starts giving us tidbits about the, um... Do your best! She starts giving us tidbits about, like, the story's lore. Third mission.
Get ready. Accomplished. Good job. Good job. Construction of the fortress has slowed to a minimum. Keep up the good work. I'm sending you new data on our strategy immediately. I kind of want to just I kind of want to cut this part down to just like when she starts giving out more. Because it, like, because there's not really much else to talk about until the net, till the last chapter, which is what comes after this diamond fragment collecting bit. There's literally not much to talk about. Get ready. I bet it doesn't speed up my attack. Mission accomplished. Good job. And this is like this is pretty much how it flows. Enemies three. This might be Rose Sisters. This honestly might be Rose Sisters, despite the fact that I already fought them and got Last their diamond fragment. Mission. So I don't know. And if it is the Rose Sisters, then this will be very hard because yeah. Oh wow. It's been a while. How nice to see you. Hello. Hmm. Well, a lot has happened to us, too. I'm not actually supposed to fight you guys, because I already fought I you and got your fragment. Hmm. How unladylike. But alright. Yeah, this is one of the fights where I'm just like, I hate this. Get ready.
not weak. What a waste. We lost? Retreat! I want blood! I hate to leave you! Well, that takes care of now. Last time we'll see them. I usually never encounter them if I already beat them and got the diamond fragment before. And I got a gold ring. So, if you want to check how many diamond fragments you have, you can always go to your pilot data. And now we have this. I have three of seven. Four more to go. Now I have to find the next place with the best, with the biggest reaction, and that is Earth. Some of these places actually won't have diamond fragments, so I mean that's obvious. So you got to go to the places with the highest reaction, <laughs> as I mentioned before. So if you go to those, you'll probably just find nothing there but like a molten, and well be like, ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna have to edit this one down. Keep up the good work. I have some information regarding Diamond. Diamond is a ghost from the past. They're fueled by anger and pride. Diamond didn't create the V crystals. But they did manipulate them to create the Moon Gate. Their technology is gone. All that remains is a hatred for mankind. Mm. As I was saying, I'm going to send you the latest data on our strategy. As a reminder, pay attention to your surroundings at all times. Yeah. Alright. Good luck out there. Good job. Construction of the fortress has slowed to a minimum. Keep up the good work. I have some information regarding Diamond. Oh. Once a proud race, Diamond was forced to lurk shapeless in meta cyberspace. Their hatred leaked through the moon gate and was absorbed by our digital society. Diamond manipulated data and tempted syndicates with the promise of profit. Before we knew it, the limited wars were fully corrupted. As I was saying, I'm going to send you the latest data. On this <laughs> like, and that's all. That's no. Nope, that's all the story time I have for you today. Thanks to the mission. <laughs> Finally. This is the last base. Yeah, of course. I don't mind editing this. I mean, it's just it's such a pain that like I have to sit that I'm going to have to sit here and search through the video just to find like the specific parts and cut it down. I will just let this be like one full video, but I'm pretty sure someone will complain besides myself. 
But I'm, like, I'm fairly certain someone would be like, why didn't you cut this down? This part's boring. Last mission. Cause like I, cause I get that a lot when it comes. I do get that a lot when it comes to like videos that I did edit. Like there's actual videos I edited, and it's like, oh, and like, why didn't you edit it? Why didn't you edit out all these deaths? I'm like, I did. There was a lot more than what you see. Hey, he's back again. Get ready. Let me just say that. So yeah, you know if you, like, this thing, I would say that's the how you know if you got a Diamond Fragment or not, is that if you fight one of the, if you fight one of the, like, the main bosses, you should get a Diamond Fragment. Area under control, return to base. Yeah. So that's another diamond fragment. I believe that makes four of seven. Three more to go. Oh! But, oh, now we have five! So now there's two more to go! That's the good thing! That's the good thing! Sometimes there's two! Sometimes there's... I don't think I've ever seen one where... I've had a moment where I've gotten three. So yeah, two more to go. I kind of want to, you know, I do kind of want to like make a separate save and be like, okay, this is what happens when you get a game. This is what happens if this hits 100%. Because maybe there's like a special cutscene. Like maybe you get like a special cutscene if that happens. Because I've only seen that, I've only seen that happen once where like, if you lose the important, like, if you lose, like, the all-important mission, like, you get a special, get a special cutscene that leads to a game over. I, like, I believe I've only seen that for, like, what, um, I've only seen that in, like, Chrono Trigger, where if you lose the bat, lose the final boss fight to Davos at any time, you get to watch the world get destroyed again, or watch Earth get destroyed again by Davos, or, um, So uh, we have Mars, we have Jupiter. Earth is in the clear. Earth is completely in the clear. It's like I believe we already did Jupiter. So yeah, let's go to Mars. No, actually let's go to Jupiter. But uh I remember in Chrono Trigger, if you lo if you get a if you die to Lavos, like you get to watch the cutscene of Lavos destroying the entire Earth again, and you get the special cutscene, but the future, re like the future, refused to change or something like that. And um, and Final Fantasy X-2, if you lose the final, if you lose the final boss fight, or really, like you have to let the timer count down to zero, and 
then you like you watch Vegnagun basically fire on Spira and essentially destroy Spira, so to speak. I'm not sure if he just I'm not sure if he destroyed Spira, but it, it, it like I mean you do get to see everybody on the Comlands just basically like get incinerated. So I guess that's the I guess that's the signify that hey like the entire world got destroyed. Anyway, I have some information regarding Diamond. She has some information for us. Shapeless Diamond was able to infest the hearts and minds of mankind. They grew in power, feeding on humanity's greed. But some knew of Diamond's threat. These people secretly developed the causation matrix, Tangram. Uh oh, Tangram ca came back into play! As I was saying, I'm going to send you the latest data on our strategy. That's something you never thought you'd hear? I mean, if you're, if you're a virtual on player, you probably know what Tangram is. And you probably know how hard that thing is to deal with. We're counting on you. Be honest, I enjoy this. I enjoy this mission commander slash narrator a lot more than our previous one. Keep up the good work. I have some information regarding Diamond. Oh. Huh? The causation matrix Tangram was able to manipulate the V crystals and build a bridge between our universes. But it could also be used to seal the Moon Gate. Locking Diamond in meta cyberspace. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling, huh? No, no. We, we, I mean, anybody. I mean, if anybody's here at this point, they're here for more, and they don't mind. If they haven't left the video at this point, they're troopers. Job. Okay, going for the, uh, the chaos route, uh, 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 I thought I already got that blue. Warning. Warning. Finally. I'm sending you updated mission details. I think I'm only going to get one fragment from here. Because... I believe there's one other little bit of tidbit of story that she has to tell. That she has to explain. But hey, it's the SHBBD. Last mission. It's, the SH it's Gil and Loden again. Like it wasn't even that long ago that we last seen them.
call it a grudge. I only see I don't see an A. I'm a SHBVD. Uh-huh. And not your yeah, not good right. last words, to be honest. Yeah, as you can see, they're fast. Despite being crappy at melee, these guys are fast for right. I don't know why you're getting in my face and you're not using your um weapon you're like your good weapons. I ran straight into that. SHBVD retreated. Why are you back? Get out of here. Let's see what modes. Ah, I got the SHBVDs right in. I got one of them. Did I get the other? Nope, I didn't get the other one. I got one of them though. So I got one of two! I need the other one. I'm gonna have to save that. I'm gonna have to save that because I unlocked that. I just get like wow I got that so now there's only one diamond fragment left and there's really only one more tidbit of lore left and look at our collapse level only 19% so let's see we have the moon we have let's see Fragby reaction there versus Mars, we're not going there. This is Mars Central Area. This is the moon. Hmm. So one of these is gonna be like Molton. One of these is gonna be Molton. Like, what are you, like, I believe one of these is going to be fake, so it won't really matter, but thankfully this has only four missions. Let's go to the moon. I don't think we've done them. I don't think we've done anything on the moon yet. Syndicate FR08. 
They assassinated Mr. Ruffo and had Tangram banished into meta cyberspace. So basically, our work in oratorial Tangram was all a hoax. As I was saying, I'm going to send you the latest data on our strategy. But Tangram did go berserk and tried to kill everyone. At the same time. And your surroundings at all times. Do your best. At the same time, we shouldn't have been killing Tangram. This is the last time you give us information, because this should be a fragment. Miss Plaginer was asked to succeed Mr. Ruffo. At the time, she was only 15. She worked to flush out Diamond's operatives and recapture Tangram. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling, huh? No. See, this is lore that we need for the story. Because this is dramatic mode and you kind of need a story. Cause, like imagine if this was like this was all stuff that you had that you had to read. I imagine that nobody would read this and this game would get an even worse rating than it has. Like, this is like I think I've mentioned this before, but this is like a mediocre. This is the one that's like the mediocre or the black sheep of the virtual on series. All right, this should be the last one, I hope. Finally. If I guessed right, like when you have things that have when you have things that have a high rating and it's the same thing, you never know like which one is the right one. So this could just be a fake, and the only thing I get obtained is new VRs. Cause I don't think I don't think you can encounter Yagarandi again. I never encountered Yagarandi on any of my play, any of my previous playthroughs. This might be my shadow, or it might just be a Molton. Yep, it's Molton. Meaning I might not get a fragment. Get ready. Cause I think you can fight Sar Sergeant Hatter again as well. Return to base. Like, I don't think you can fight Shadow or Yagarangi again. Okay, that's our last one. All right. So that's all the diamond fragments. Now we can move on to the final set of missions, which, well, I mean, these are fun. These are fun, but they're also, like, hard. Like, you, this is the kind where, this, like, these missions are essentially going to be the ones where it's like, you know, okay, like, this is going to be rough. And you just know, like, okay, like, this is gonna be rough, but you have to get serious. Because it is final mission time. 
So I'm going to see you next time for what is probably going to be either the second to last or the last part of Virtual On Mars. <laughs> Until then, see you guys later.